The General Aeroplane Company was Detroit's first commercial airplane builder. GAC built three types of aircraft during the First World War and operated a flying school. The aircraft were the Verville Flying Boat, the Gamma S biplane with floats float plane, and the Gamma L biplane with wheels. All had engine installations driving pusher propellers. Topic founding The key player in the company was 18-year-old Corwin Van Hoosen, who was supported by his guardian W. Howie Muir and other key players of Detroit and Gross Point Society. Other major investors included Fred and Russell Alger, who were also investors in the Wright Company and had demonstrated the Wright craft at the Gross Point Country Club four years earlier, Herbert B. and Frank P. Book, W. M. Hendry, and Jerome H. Remick. In November 1915, the GAC hired 24-year-old Alfred V. Verville, an experienced airplane designer who would be a part of Detroit's aviation activities for years to come. Design of the company's first airplane, a two-passenger biplane flying boat, was completed in December and construction of the hull was begun by the Maye Boat and Aeroplane Works. The flying boat was flight-tested during early 1916 and was advertised nationally for sale beginning in September. The U.S. Navy purchased the plane as a trainer, the first built-in Detroit airplane sold for profit. With U.S. involvement in World War I imminent, Verville began designing a military airplane, the Gamma. By November 1916, the prototype, a pusher-type plane with the engine and propeller behind the crew, was fitted with seaplane floats and test flown from its base on the Detroit River. In the meantime, the leading industry magazine Aviation gave the GAC plane a boost by running a two-page story about the as-yet-unproved craft. For the winter the Gamma was fitted with wheels to replace the floats. On its maiden flight from frozen Lake St. Clair, a wind blew the Gamma into a snow bank, and it crashed. The pilot, William Bonney was unhurt, but the Gamma was destroyed. Dissolution On August 28, 1918, GAC ceased operations. Aircraft Verville Flying Boat aka Beta, 1916 Two-passenger, open cockpit, biplane flying boat In the style of a Curtis Model F 100 horsepower Curtis Ox 5 or Maximotor Pusher Span, 38 feet length, 27 feet 8 in, load, 600 pounds Mahogany hull and wing floats constructed by Maye Boat Co. Detroit, three-bladed prop, engine mounted under top wing, the Navy purchased the plane for use as a trainer. Two more similar military pushes and two twin-engine seaplanes were ordered in March 1917. Gamma S Biplane with floats float plane. A two-seater, open cockpit, flying boat, biplane with an 80-horsepower Lerone pusher engine. Gamma L Similar but with wheels. Twin floats were replaced with wheels for winter operations off the ice of Lake Street. Claire. Topic Gallery Topic See also Detroit, Michigan Alfred V. Verville